channel. Uh, we are in the garage today working on the Dyna. And since the last video, uh, got the bike running, it got it up to temp, and I noticed that the uh, rear pipe coming out of the collector right by the oxygen sensor was cracked all the way around. So, um, had to take the pipe back off. Um, had a friend of mine uh, weld it up and got it all cleaned up. Um, that way so it would turn colors um, all even, you know, it's a good time to clean it up once you get it off. So, um, yeah, yeah, hopefully it uh, doesn't leak again. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crack again. Uh, I reached out to, to uh, Bassani and, and didn't really get a response that I wanted. So uh, this would be a good uh, review video, basically, of the stainless um, Bassani Road Rage 3. I've uh, been running it for about three years, uh, wheeling it like crazy and, and taking it out of state for trips and um, this is the first real big problem I've had with it. So um, hopefully this repair works uh, as far as the welding goes. Um, it's a good solid weld all the way around and you know I'll check my fitment one more time uh, once I get on the bike make sure that's all good. but. But yeah, I was back to square one after the last video. I had to pull the exhaust off again. But um, yeah, in this video, we're gonna try to get uh, the exhaust back on. Uh, we'll go through our initialization process again with the Thunder Max. And what I'm gonna try to do in this video also is I'm gonna try to run that uh, connector, the, the communication connector in to the harness. It looks like it's just two or three wires. Uh, run that in at the end of this uh, video. So, uh, cue the time lapse, guys.
guys, we got the uh, Thunder Max pigtail installed. Um, super easy to do. You just pry apart this connector and depin uh, the little weather pack of plugs that they tell you. Thunder Max tells you in the instructions which one to do. Um, and yeah, it, it comes with a cool little you know plug that fits kind of where the factory diagnostic port does. And that way the only thing you have to do is pull this cover off. Um, which is just a pull cover and that comes off of there so um, got the exhaust all spaced nice and 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 loose and easy on the other side it looks like that's gonna work out good and uh, yeah this should be good to go now um, we got a couple more things to do the dyno before uh, we're gonna go out and put some miles on it and those will be on videos coming up uh, the, in the next couple weeks with this little build series so I appreciate the support guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.